News Talk 1130 WISN, Mark Belling, late afternoon show. State of Wisconsin, Governor Walker today applying for $150 million out of the Federal High Speed Rail Fund to upgrade the existing Milwaukee to Chicago Amtrak line. By the way, one thing I didn't mention in a discussion that I should have, the projected cost for the Milwaukee to Madison line was $810 million, so that this would be about one-fifth to one-sixth the cost of the train that a walker didn't want. What's my take on this? I think it's a good idea. Here's why. The train already exists. That's a major difference between this and all of the rail projects I have opposed in the past. I've opposed light rail in Milwaukee. I've opposed commuter rail between Milwaukee and Kenosha. I've opposed Barrett's stupid trolley loop through downtown Milwaukee. And I've opposed high-speed rail between Milwaukee and Madison. All of those were new projects that would require a massive brand new investment Acquiring rail lines, acquiring right away, enormous spending of money. This is a train that nobody is planning to cancel. There's going to be a Milwaukee to Chicago train line. Scott Walker doesn't have any ability to get rid of that because it just, it's part of Amtrak. That line is going to be there. If something's going to be there, why not take advantage of making it better? Secondly, as I understand it, this will not require an additional subsidy by the state of Wisconsin. In fact, the state believes it will save some money here. As for tapping into a federal pork fund, I don't believe that you should tap into money just because the feds are throwing it around. But... If there is federal money that isn't going to be eliminated, if you have a project that is more worthy than another state, yeah, you ought to take it. I believe the federal government should be cutting spending in almost every area, but that doesn't mean there aren't some federal programs I would support. This train also makes sense. If ever a train made sense, it would be one linking Milwaukee and Chicago. Unlike the commuter rail line that would run along the North Shore and run run along the Lake Michigan shoreline and serve almost no one, this one serves two major destinations, downtown Milwaukee, downtown Chicago. It has a proven constituency of several hundred thousand people that ride it even now. Given that it's costing the state nothing to seek the federal funds, and given that it's requiring no new expenditure by the state at all, and unlike the Milwaukee to Madison train line, isn't going to take any money out of the state transportation fund that otherwise could be used for roads and bridges, since the state is already providing a subsidy for this train, I think it only makes sense that we try to get federal money applied to a project we already have, just as... Well, I'm not a supporter of much mass transit, it makes sense for Wisconsin to get as much federal support for the mass transit we already have rather than doing it all on our own. My bottom line is this. Since we have it and we're going to pay for it, we may as well have the feds pay more of it than we currently do. And if we can make something that we're going to have better without an additional cost for Wisconsin taxpayers, we ought to do it. This should not, however, and here's the part I fear, should not be taken as any kind of foot in the door for high-speed rail in Wisconsin. The part I fear about this is after Scott Walker is gone... There will be many who will argue, oh, we've got high-speed rail from Chicago to Milwaukee. It's just the logical next step now to run, run from Milwaukee to Madison. That's the only negative here is that I see it as a foot in the door. There is another concern, and that is that federal support for Amtrak is going to be cut because of need to pare down the federal budget. This would mean longer term more support for Amtrak from the individual states. So that's my take on it. I think that this is a good idea, 
and a good move by the governor. It's 557 at News Talk, 1130 WISN.